Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys all of the manicures that I've worn in the month of January, February, and March. So there's quite a bit to cover because I'm doing I'm covering three months worth. Overall, I don't think I wore as many manicures considering it's been three months because I have been focusing on a lot of the polishes from my Project Polish. So I'll mention a couple of those in this video if in case you don't watch those videos. I'm going to get started with a Skittles Manny uh, where I wore... Uh, the polishes from the flying solo collection from Essie. I did do a review on these so I will link that video up in the cards but I wore all of these which are really beautiful. I mentioned in that video that I was very satisfied with this collection. Uh, starting off with Check Your Baggage which is the yellow. Such a beautiful beautiful yellow. Three coats for this one and then I also used Reach New Heights which is the peach with the gold shimmer. One of my favorites this is one way for one which is the mid-tone pink with the gold shimmer. It's very fine like little pearl running through it. So gorgeous. Um, this one actually this one here Reach New Heights is the one that it looked a little bit more like brush strokey on me, so I did have to be very careful with the application. And then I also used You Do Blue, which is the blue with the purple flash running through it, as well as Free to Roam, which is one that I compared to Fiji in that video. So gorgeous. This one's three coats. This one's also three coats. And I want to say, if I remember correctly, this one had the thinner formula of them all, but they were all really pigmented, and I love that these have the wider brush. The next manicure is using Sally Hansen's Gun Metal. This is a metallic such a beautiful color. This used to be a staple for me during the winter time many many boons ago and I actually put it on my winter seasonal rack because it had been so long since I've worn it. Great formulation for this one. A couple coats for full opacity. This is one though that I do have to be careful with because it does get a little brush strokey on the nails. The Galaxy nails that I wore, I wore those a couple of times and I did do a video so I'll link that also up in the cards. So I did a combination of polishes that were on my seasonal rack and then I also pulled polishes from my project polish because I wanted to make use out of the polishes. As a base, I used Indigo from Zoya. This one is a one coater. It's a very dark, very deep a navy, and it has some silver micro little glitters that are pretty sparse. They're not as noticeable on the nails, but this has an amazing, amazing formula. Although it does require only one coat, I do usually apply two. And then I applied two, or I sponged on two glitters here. I have Skyscraper, which is part of my project polish. I also wore this by itself, so I'll have a picture of that up in the screen because it's so dang beautiful. I love this, as well as Sexy in Sequence, which was up on my winter seasonal wrap, just to add a little bit of glitter variety onto the nails. And then I sponged on two polishes that are a little bit more translucent, so you can see whatever layers I had under it, you could see through these. I thought that looked really beautiful and I almost made it look into this the shifty nails, which I thought looked really cool. So I have Inka Dinka Pink from Nicole by OPI and this little No Name Sea Blue one from Wet n Wild. And then I topped that all off with this holographic, it's a silver holographic from Orly. It doesn't have a name on it. There is a number at the bottom, but I can never find it online. So I will leave it in the description box, but I think it's just so old. I, I just, I cannot ever find it. This silver holographic, though the glitters are a little bit, uh, uh, like, larger. <laughs> They're a little bit larger than the INM Northern Lights. But it's still really, really beautiful. Because I am past the halfway point, this does load up on the, on the holographics and that rainbow look on the nails, which is what I was looking for for the Galaxy Nails, and then I finalized that with some white dots, which some of the white dots looked a little bit too large, but I thought it ended up working out really well, and I thought it looked really beautiful in the end. Ruby Pumps is one that I used to do some Valentine's Day nails. I did some stamping. My nose is so itchy right now, oh my god. I did some stamping over top of it with some hearts, some kind of negative space that so you can see this polish underneath it, and I thought it looked really, really beautiful, very, what is it? Queen of Hearts. A vibes is what I got from it. And then I just remembered how beautiful this polish is. I don't wear it enough, which is a, a damn shame. From Sally Hansen. Well, this time. From Sally Hansen. <laughs> time is money from Sally Hansen. This guy actually had pulled out because I wanted to dupe or I tried to dupe a polish from the Essie Spring Shop My Stash video. I'll link that video up in the cards. 
so beautiful and great great formula two coats for full opacity for this guy from OPI I have I'm on a sushi roll I love colors like this I have let's see my dog sled is a hybrid so this is my dog sled is a hybrid and this is I'm on a sushi roll this is a little bit lighter and this is a little bit deeper and I can see the difference and it's also a little it has a little bit more blue in it both both have a beautiful formula so this is no surprise because this has a form just as good of a formula as if you're familiar with my dog sled is a hybrid it's really no different a couple of coats for full opacity but I did do a little bit of glitter over top of it and I put uh, on the urban outfitters this is called glow up and this has a little glitter mix of some gold and blue and I see a little bit of a of a flash running through this a little bit pink purple I would say that's not really noticeable on the nails and I applied this and did a gradient from the end of my nail going towards the cuticle and just did a little glitter gradient I thought that looked really beautiful together a favorite of mine that I wore and I thought looked amazing this is so beautiful this is from wet n wild and this is called amethyst rocks and I found this uh, sometime last year in a drugstore where they don't even carry this line anymore so I don't even know how the store had it. I can't remember if it was a Walgreens or a Rite Aid. I'm not really sure but they don't really care. They don't really have these polishes anymore and then somebody, I think I mentioned it in a video and somebody had said that this had come out the previous year or one or two years ago. So. I happened to get really lucky to come across this polish because it was the only one in the store. And so this one has more of a purple jelly base and some gold glitters. But I remember when Wet n Wild used to do limited edition collections and they were really, they had a lot of fun doing, you know, limited edition collections and they did such a, an awesome job. I'm just not really sure why they stopped doing that because I'm pretty sure people bought the crap out of those polishes because they, they, they're unique. Some of them were really unique and really beautiful. So I just wish they would bring something like this back. But anyways, this one was three coats and I was really happy with it. You could really see the glitters through the the purple jelly base. From Super Chic Lacquer, I have Swoon. This is the pink linear holographic. This one, I've had it for a while. And I remember the holographic coming through a lot more than what I saw this time around. So I'm not really sure what I did different. I'm not sure if it's because I just had this for a real long. I'm just, I'm not really sure what happened. Uh, it still looked really beautiful, but I just, I'm not seeing the holographic like it used to look like on the nails. And even in the bottle here, it's almost like the, the holographics are settling to the bottom. I'm not really sure, but I didn't really capture it as much on the nails. Before I used to be able to capture the holographics all the time and this time around I felt like I captured it a lot more when I was in direct sunlight and I really liked the way that it looked when it was in direct sunlight because it just sparkled so much. This one usually one to two coats for full opacity but I always do at two. The next manicure I wore in tribute to Kobe Bryant. I wore it the week that he passed which was our household was mourning I think along with so many other people and so many other households and I wanted to do something to honor him I did not have a stamping plate with numbers I wanted to put the number 24 or the number 8 but I didn't have anything like that I don't have a machine to create decals or anything like that so I was trying to figure out a way on how to print something out from the com just the computer on regular paper to try to get it on my nails so Quite a bit of trial and error. I went into Google Images and transferred the images to Word Docs and just put a bunch of pictures of him. And in Word Docs, I think it's where it worked best. I was trying to do it in another like photo editing, but it just, when I would print it, it wasn't coming out as clear. And Word Docs is where I, it came out a little bit more clear. And I just did varying sizes and uh, different images and then printed it out and just picked the ones that looked the clearest. It is still not the clearest image because it is not... I don't think I'm, I'm it, it's meant to be used for that, but it is the clearest that I could get on my nails. What I found best, because I tried doing it in a couple different ways, I first tried to um, put a clear polish onto my stamping mat and then put the image over top of that and then put a clear polish over top of that to kind of make it into a decal, but it made it a little bit too thick so I wasn't wanting to lay down on the nail very well. The best way that I found for it to lay on my nails 
it's best is to paint the nail and while it's still a little wet well it's still quite a bit wet lay the image down so it adheres into the wet polish and then seal it with a top coat that was the best way you could still see some of the edges lifting up but it was it's just uh, the best that I could do with the tools that I had. And I was really happy with that manicure. I wore it for quite a few days. Gingerbread Cookie from 90 Lacquer is another one that I wore. I actually did a Paint Your Nails With Me video and I reviewed this polish all together. You guys can see the live application. So I'll link it up in the cards. This one has more of a brown base. It's more of a brown jelly base. But uh, the glitters in here are more like this rusty color, I would say. And it has some holographics in this. This is beautiful and it looked really sparkly on the nails this is one though that does benefit from a very thick glossy top coat like the miracle gel from sally hansen otherwise if i use like this one i tried using this one in with another polish like this one from nine zero lacquer which was the purple one plum sugar sugar plum something like that i had used Aurelie's glosser and this polish or this top coat is not very good with dense glitter polishes like these because it dulls down really quickly it doesn't retain the glossiness um, this is much better suited for a cream polish i would say but anyways pretty thick formula it's it's beautiful and it ends up looking beautiful in the end but i don't know if you can see maybe if i put it down here the brush is thick and it's pretty fat at the end and because the formulation of this polish is on the thicker side it just it loads up way too much onto the brush so trying to apply it on the nails it doesn't really glide the brush doesn't really flare out nicely to apply the polish you almost kind of i'm having to manipulate the polish onto my nail in order for it to apply it's just it makes it a little bit of a challenge when it comes to application in the end it does settle down and it doesn't look thick and lumpy on the nails but it is a bit of a struggle getting this onto the nails and I did find that especially near my cuticle near my cuticle area is where like in certain nails maybe it's the way that I was laying down the polish because I struggled it just looked a little bit too sheer like it, the color looked a little bit more concentrated in certain parts of my nails than other parts of my nails but I thought it still looked really beautiful it's just a bit of a tr a bit of a challenge to get onto the nails a manicure that I wore recently is from Sally Hansen this is called talk to the hand which is a teal this is a one coater I wore this for quite a few days and it wore very very well I did add two coats of this though and then on the accent nail I wore a polish that I've had for a very long time but it was an untried for me from Illyrian polish this is called the upside down and this has holographic glitters silver holographic glitters running through it another one that looked really beautiful I think it looked more sparkly in person than even my picture captured so either way i still really enjoyed this manicure yummy yams from sally hansen one that is probably better suited for the fall but i bought it uh sometime last year towards the end of last year and i still really wanted to wear it because this was one that i found i think it was on overstock.com and it had been a lemming for a really long time since miss holly berry's talked about it which was ages ago wore this guy and i'm not disappointed it does have a little bit more of a jelly-ish kind of formulation more like a curly i would say it's not quite a it's not a it's not a full cream there's a little bit of squishiness going on in this guy not when it dries down but as you're applying it so it does require three coats for full opacity i'm not disappointed at all though this color is really really beautiful and i was very satisfied with that manicure a polish that i don't want to rant too much about i don't want to go on forever because I expressed my dislike towards this polish. I actually still need to do my review and the swatches for the spring collection from Orly, by the way. But I did try wearing this guy. And I tried wearing, I don't know if you guys can see. This polish is down to here. Okay. I, whenever I, I swatch polishes, I do try to wear them at least for one day or something. Or uh, wear them for a few hours just to make sure that it's drying very well that it's performing well that i just don't have any issues come up so i tried swatching this guy maybe three times three four times something like that i tried it with a top coat no without with a base coat without a base coat with different top coats i used the miracle gel from sally hansen i used the out the door i used i think the orally and a snap was another top coat that i i tried with this guy 
the issue that I have with this is that it never dries like or it takes or it takes an eternity to dry I don't know but I don't have an eternity to wait around for a polish to dry this last time when I put it on it was over two hours and I went to wash dishes and it dinged the nails like they just they came out my nails came out of the sink like they had been in battle and I went like this and it was coming off like it was gummy it was gummy still which is really really frustrating because i don't think any polish should take that long to dry and really and honestly i should have known the first time and even after the second time because i tried i want to say i tried applying it a few times more than three even three times and one day i think i tried twice because i dinged it accidentally then the next day i tried again and you know I shouldn't have to try that hard and I'm 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 upset at it because it is such a beautiful color but this just just doesn't work. The only other thing I can think of is that it's my body chemistry or the last thing I can think of is that they just did a really bad job with this polish. So if you have it and you have not experienced that, leave it in the comments below because it could just be that it's my body chemistry and it's not this polish. That's what I'm hoping so that whoever bought this polish doesn't have the same experience as I did. No bones about it from 90 Lacquer. I freak love this so so beautiful I love this the base of this is an off-white and it has it looks like it's black matte glitters running through this but they lean a little bit blue on on the nails which I thought was a really nice surprise so this is a curly it takes three coats for full opacity I no issues with this it's so beautiful no issues whatsoever I love this so much. This is one that although I wore earlier this year, it is probably one that I'll probably bring out in the month of October just because I don't know, it fits the occasion. I just love the name of this. I thought I thought it was adorable. From OPI, and this is one of those polishes that I've mentioned before. It's like you know, OPI makes some of the polishes that I feel like where they just almost apply themselves because the formula is that freaking good. This is one of them. This is called Just Lanying Around. And this one has a very fine, do you see that? Silver little pearl. It's not overly visible on the nails and more than anything, I feel like it, you can see it a little bit, but not too much. I think it, it helps the application, if anything. I mean, if it has any kind of purpose, it helps the application because the application is impeccable. Two coats for full opacity. This is such a beautiful color that I felt complemented my skin tone really well. I was happily surprised when i bought this i thought oh it's pretty but i would, i was just wasn't sure about that little silver little pearl running through it but i'm very very happy rare as rubies from morgan taylor this looks way better in person than i could ever capture i tried taking many many pictures of this i tried taking different angled videos it just never captured this at, at how beautiful it looks in person. I think we'll always have a special place in my heart moving forward because I wore this to my cousin's wedding and I wanted to wear red because it was a wedding and I just think it's such a romantic color and just the name of it I think is is really really pretty. So Rare as Rubies has more of a red jelly base. It leans a little bit more pink I would say and it has some red metallic glitters. So this one takes two to three coats for full opacity. It is a glitter that does get opaque on its own and I thought it looked amazing. Again, my pictures do zero justice, so keep that in mind. Actually, this is the last manicure. This is from Orly. This is called Nebula, and this came out last year at the beginning of the year. So this one has more, it looks purpley. I don't know, it's kind of weird because in sunlight, it looks like a denim blue. It is a, it's a shimmer polish, but it looks like a denim blue color. And then in some lights, it looks a little bit more purple, like a grape purple. I put a topper from Orly over top of this. It is a bar a, a bar glitter that is pink, but it, it leans holographic as well. And I cannot find the bar glitter. I liked how that looked. I think there was just a little bit too much texture going on in my nails, so it made me feel very weird, like kind of mm, like medio ñañaras, you know, like it just, mm, I don't know. It looked really pretty, but like the hair on the back of my neck is standing up right now because I just... I could feel the texture. I think it's because it's a bar glitter, so it adds a little bit of texture. Plus, it was multi-shifting, so it just looked a little, I don't know. My, like, I'm getting the chills just thinking about it. I cannot find that topper, though. The topper is really, really pretty. It's a very old topper from Orly. Um, 
and I love how reflective it looked. I just I just didn't like the way that it felt um, on my nails. Okay, lastly, the three top coats that I have been wearing or, or using this past month. I have this Morgan Taylor top coat. This is called Need for Speed. It does dry fast, but it's kind of... A, it doesn't add as much glossiness as I would like. So, especially with glitter polishes. So this is one that I'll probably reserve for cream polishes. Same thing for Glor uh, Orly's Glosser. I mentioned in my last monthly manis that this was no good, especially with glitter polishes. I have tried them since then on cream polishes and it works really well, but I don't feel like it retains the glossiness for an entire week or, you know, even three days. I think every couple of days I kept having to add this on, which is why I've used it so much. And then the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. This is a newer bottle and I love it. It is my new obsession. It does take, it's not a fast drying top coat, but I am very, very happy with this. I think this is really, really, really good. Towards the bottom, it does get a little bit thicker and it does start leaving a little bit of bubbles, but super glossy and works very, very well with denser glitters, like something like this, if you want to, um, if you want it to look very glossy, very juicy or even like the polish from china glaze like gingerbread a dense glitter like this dulls down any like this it'll dull, dull something like this did this doesn't retain its glossiness with a polish like this is what i'm trying to say to where with this it does retain the glossiness and it doesn't this doesn't eat up the entire top coat basically so that is everything guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye